Okay, back with another video. Right, this video here, this is it's gonna get kind of deep. So really, I think only really the deep thinkers will be able to flow with this one. Right, what I want to talk about is why black unity doesn't work. Why it's really pretty much a waste of time. Reason being is I think before black unity there should be black individualism. First black people should find who they are as an individual before they want to be as a group. Because an individual has a lot more a lot more dynamics than just a group of limited type people when I say limited type people is that when people black people tend to to stick to black unity they kind of limit themselves to what everybody else is doing or what everybody else is like pretty much thinking that everybody has to be the same because we're all united which is not actually true well it might be true but more or less most of the time people unite themselves into pretty much what happens a lot is the lowest common denominator like I don't know if you've ever experienced where you go to a black club or something and 200 black people aren't dancing they're standing around the wall having a boring time so the next person that comes in is going to do the same thing stand around the wall and have a boring time and the next person who comes in is going to stand around and do the same thing because they all want to be like the next black man or black woman united or you've got 3,000, 4 million or whatever black women wearing fake hair the next girl growing up is going to do the same thing because they want to be united well unity unity most of, in, 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 in black unity it it's it individualism is a lot better I mean because black people tend to limit themselves if they stay if they stay united like for instance I've been to places like Spain and Italy and places like that alone and I don't see any black people there and why don't I see any black people there because a lot of black people don't want to be individual they want to be like what the next man is doing so they limit themselves to what the next man does and what the next man does is he either goes on holiday to Africa or he goes on holiday to the West Indies because that's where black people are and that's where they feel comfortable but see that's another thing is 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 the so-called black unity doesn't take people um, out of their comfort zone and when people come out of their comfort zone that's actually when they become stronger as a person a person who's always relying on the united front the united group becomes weaker but an individual standing standing alone becomes stronger and once that person who's individual becomes stronger once they are ready to join with the group or, or or unite with the group they've got a lot more to bring to the group than just um, someone who's only ever known being held up by the group I don't know if I'm making sense to people here if they are if you're understanding where I'm coming from but I think I think like being an individual person is 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 it should be the most important part of a person's character rather than their race because 
building on your own individualism, which is what makes you more strong-minded. Um, it makes you more know yourself. Um, and black unity doesn't work in lots of other ways as well. I mean, me, for instance, my um, my heritage is my mum and dad are from Nigeria. I was born in London. And... Um, for instance, I look to a lot of people like a West Indian. So I experience so pretty much racism from Nigerians and from West Indians. If I go to uh, um, if I go for a takeaway, if I go for a takeaway in a Nigerian takeaway. I experienced that sort of host, hostile atmosphere because 